Right, so the main National Science and Maths Quiz Championship is here, and the countdown to the crown, the 2021 winners will start tomorrow as we begin with the preliminary, preliminary contest. With adrenaline rush and pressure, the experience, especially from old students, were keen on winning to earn the bragging rights. The 2020 winners from Presec Legong are urging contestants of the participating schools to be calm and find a way to deal with the anxiety that comes with being on the stage. So Maxwell Agbogba has more in this report. The auditorium of the 2020 finals was filled with anxiety as the schools sang their anthem. The contest featured Presec Ligon at Desado College and Opokuwari School. After five rounds of heated contests, Presec Ligon became the 2020 champions with just five points. It was an unforgettable contest that even caught the attention of the president. This year is the turn of the Odadiers who impressed the whole nation with their performance in the competition. So I applaud the contestants, Isaac Kufi Jemfi, Benjamin Kwanza Inketia, and perhaps the most famous of them all, Daniel Kekeli Gabeto. One year after going through the experience, the winners have advice for this year's contestants who will be battling for the trophy. 2020 NSMQ winner from Pesek, Daniel Gakbeto, wants the contestants to know it is a competition and they do not have control over the outcome. As much as everyone is here to win, um, in the end, it's a competition. You may go through successfully till the very end or you might fall short it's um at the end of the day life goes on whatever happens whether you win the competition or you go out in your first contest the most important thing is to put it behind you and move on with life because life goes on at times with a huge interest from old students of the competing schools, Benjamin and Ketia want the contestants to know they carry the burden of both current and old students of their schools and that they should be able to control the pressure from them. If um, a lot of hopes are on you, win the quiz for us. If you've not won the quiz before, they are, uh, the possible motivation will be like, win the quiz for me, pressure from the old boys. Just put that aside and let your real convictions drive you towards the trophy. And on the day of the quiz, in the contest you are doing, don't look at your opponents too much. It has the way their demeanor, their demeanor might uh, put some um, fear in you. So just go that you are uh, your real competition is the questions, trying to answer the questions. <music> Isaac Kofi Jemfi says as an NSMQ winner, they have very high expectations of him. He has this advice for the contestants. The and for me, it's been a life of um, gratitude, full of opportunities and also living up to um, the expectation of everyone. Because everyone is expecting you to pull up good performance in um, anything you do, in college, in your quizzes, in assignments and everything. So it kind of... Um, encourages me to um, work harder to keep the standard. You should uh, have it in mind that they are in for victory. For a competition like this, there's only one winner. There might be ups and downs, but just know that you're a winner in anything, and everyone is very proud of you. So, you are a winner in your own way. So, just keep on believing and have fun. Make new friends too, because it's very necessary. Right, so for the next one month, starting from tomorrow, we're having the prelims, uh, preliminary co uh, competition. And we have the three finalists for last year, Isaac Kofi, Jemfi, 
and uh, Daniel Gakweto and Benjamin Inketia, they're joining us via, via Zoom to tell us what the journey has been like for them so far. So good morning to all, all of you. And uh, to you, uh, Jamfi Isaac, I want to start with you. I see you're wearing blue. It's, it's like you, you're refusing to let go of your uh, Odadia <laughs> uniform. What's, what's going on? You're in Ashesi right now, are you not? Yes, please. I'm in Ashesi right now. Yeah, and, and the blue can't be the Ashesi uniform, can it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, well, I'm still celebrating um, uh, oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, yeah. how much longer do you intend to celebrate? As long as it would last. <laughs> yes. All right, but um, I know that you you're in Ashesi. How has it been like for you? Which course are you pursuing? I'm pursuing um, mechanical engineering for now. Yes. All right. And so far, it's been good. Yeah. It's been good. Quite stressful, yes. <laughs> quite, quite stressful, but it's been good. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come to you. And then uh, let me come to Gakpato. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. All right, so you're also at Ashesi University. Which course are you pursuing? I'm pursuing electrical engineering. And how's it going for you? Well, it's also it's quite stressful here, yeah, but by God's grace, it's going quite well. All right. When you say stressful, what exactly is making it stressful? Well, um, basically the workload, yeah, it's it's not that easy, but um, there are a lot of assignments, quizzes, and there's a lot of material to cover. Okay. Now, one of the things that has come up in uh, previous National Science and Maths quizzes is you hear the quiz mistress talk about the fact that a lot of the people who end up in the competition are doing more rote learning. And, uh, and so we're, we're not practicalizing the kind of things we're learning. But I, I can imagine that being at a place like Ashesi University, there's going to be a lot of practical work that you're doing. How are you coping with that shift? Well, um, in my opinion, there isn't as much roots learning as people think. You need to make sense of the material that you are presented with in order to understand and then be able to remember it very well. All right. Um, yes, but there is an um, engineering year at Ashesi is definitely more um, hands-on, more practically focused. Right. And so it's, we just need to change, psych ourselves for, for that change. Um, there isn't as much roots leading with the NSMQ. Yes, we do memorize a few things, but it's more about understanding the concept. Understanding the concepts makes it much easier to apply it on stage and um, to, in order to gain the points that you need. For instance, with the problem of the day, questions are not that direct. You need to uh, think through the concepts you've learned and apply them. So, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. All right, let me come to you, uh, Benjamin Ketia. How, what have you been up to, Benjamin? Oh, good morning. Yeah, um, after the science and maths quiz, I got a scholarship to Accra College of Medicine. I'm supposed to be pursuing medicine there, but due to some reasons, I've deferred my course for a year. Yeah, so right now I'm home and I'm just working on myself in some few areas. Oh, tell me about the areas in which you're working on yourself. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, like to develop my skills. I'm doing some uh, programming in Python and some other stuff. But the real reason I'm home, it's a bit personal. Yeah, no, so. no, I'm, I'm not interested in the reason why you're home. I'm, I'm interested in what you're doing to develop yourself. I mean, what you're doing in the period. So yes, it's, it's exciting. I'm sure others would also love to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm starting a Python programming course yeah that's basically what i'm up to now and some few other stuff all right yeah so you've been giving some advice to people who will be contesting in the uh, preliminary competition national science and math which starts from tomorrow so what are some of the things you you tell them that you think they should know before they get into the competition okay um First, I'd like you to know that 
um, it's a very great privilege to be selected as one of the contestants for your school. And it's definitely something to be proud about. Yes, yeah, so you, sh you shouldn't look down on yourself, no matter the school that you come from. Just know that the fact that you made it on stage is a great um, achievement on your part. Yes, and then afterwards, you should psych up yourself because the quiz is a great platform and it's a door opener. So just put in your best. And as I always say, don't let an external motivation be your motivation. Find something that really stems from your inside and that's what to really drive you on to continue to move up like to move becomes a bit public it will not be so private so you should get used to that and yeah so i believe like apart from all of that the real preparation towards the quiz you should just psych yourself up and prevent all forms of distractions from external sources and just work on yourself very much and all things will fall in place yeah. Now you talk about the, the fact that it has opened doors. It's a door opener. Tell us about some of the doors it's opened for you since uh, you won. Okay. Okay, for the first one, I've, I got to meet the president. Of I, I thought so. I thought as <laughs> yes, much. Yes, please. And <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's a very good it's a very great honor. Yeah, and then it also opens the, like when you go outside, people know that, hey, you are Benjamin, you are Benjamin. And then like places where you might not have normally been welcomed, like you will now be welcomed there. Like for example, yeah. if um, the doors are supposed to be closed, when you go, like for example, like NSMQ, if uh, you are going to the door, there will be policemen around. And then because they know that, oh, yeah, Benjamin, they'll allow you to go inside, <laughs> like in many other places too. So it's, the name itself just opens doors for you. And it also gives you exposure to be on the stage and uh, speak to uh, speak on like to a lot of people, a bigger crowd. It gives you real exposure. Yeah. And, and confidence. Yes, please. And it builds your confidence. And I, I, I know you guys have also traveled. What has been the experience like? I'll, I'll bring it to, I'll bring you in, uh, yeah, Isaac James, here at this point. What was the experience like traveling and uh, seeing places? Okay, so um, it was fun traveling around and um, to see places I've never been before, like um, in the mountains in Afaja. So yeah, it's a very, yeah, it was a very great experience for me. Yes, I learned a lot from people, a lot from different culture. So I'm very grateful for that experience. And I thank um, Adams to travel for this opportunity, this great opportunity. I thought you traveled out of the country as well. No, we were restricted from doing that because of COVID. Oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> too bad, too bad, too bad. All right, but which, which door? So we have uh, Benjamin telling us how, how many doors have opened for him. What has it been like for you too? Yeah, I think um, mine was similar. Meeting the president was a very great opportunity for me. And also um, me winning a um, scholarship in Ashish University is also a great, very great opportunity for me in my academic journey. So yeah, so far it's been good. The opportunities have been a lot on my path. I'm very grateful to God for that. All right, so for you as well, what would you advise people who are getting into the competition from tomorrow? Okay, so... Adding on to what Benjamin said, in as much as um, it's a competition, um, there's only one winner at the end of the day. So um, I would advise everyone to um, have fun during this competition, make new friends, and also your scientific quest shouldn't end here. You should, you should channel the same energy towards this quiz um, into solving national problems. Yeah. So I guess uh, you have some national problems that you're working on right now? Yes, please. Such as? Um, <laughs> um, solving power outages problems. And yeah, a lot, a lot. All right, let, lot. Le, let me bring in the famous Gakpato. Hello, Gakpato. Hi. I, I think of all three, you are the one whose uh, name went a lot further. How are you managing the NSMQ fame in uh, your school, community, church, etc.? Well, yeah, I've been a bit reserved. Uh, naturally, I don't really go out much, but when I do, um, it can be overwhelming at times. Where meet 
All right, we you appear, seem to have uh, Gakpato's uh, connection being frozen at the moment, but I'm sure it's going to be restored in a bit so he can tell us about uh, how he's managing the film. He was telling us how overwhelming it can be sometimes. I'd love to hear how, how that turns out for, for him, but it appears he's, he's still frozen. We'll, we'll get back to, to Gakpato. But... Uh, So we let's let's get to uh, Isaac Jenfi. What what are your dreams? What are you looking at doing? Okay, um, so I'm trying as much as possible to be versatile in terms of um, my engineering field, going to different field, doing a lot of stuff for the country and the world as a as a whole. Yes, and also not just being a uh, science based, but also uh, like. To, uh, I just want to be versatile. Like an all-rounder. All-rounder, yes. In music, everything, like, as much as possible. <laughs> Benjamin, how about you? Oh, yeah. Actually, I would like to solve uh, global issues, like stuff relating to medicine, healthcare. Yeah, that's what I'm really working on right now. Yes, that's my bigger aim in life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, I know you, you guys um, probably it's something that you'd want to keep close to your chest because uh, you don't want to let the secret out or your strategy out. But you, it will be kind of you to share with everybody else how Presec manages to do it year on year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... There are many factors involved, but like the pivot is God's grace. Okay, but, but at least God's grace is for everybody. So yes. yeah, but we, we acknowledge God's grace and then we use his ability in our work. And also there are, there's hard work involved and then we are committed to duty. Basically, all the things that's pulling for success, we really go in on them and we hone in on all those factors yes please and that's what really brings us the glory on the stage and apparently you're training the current team your school team yes please are you willing to share with us some of the tips you are giving them oh <laughs> okay sure <laughs> well it's the same thing that everybody can use to win the quiz it's just a matter of who really um, it's like the factors for winning are just the same each year. Right. And this, uh, the person who really um, uses them is the one that the victory will come to. So basically hard work, commitment. And this is like one thing that is a sure guarantee like that will help people find the quiz, even if you don't win. It's uh, working on your mistakes. Like no matter the school you are or the contestant you are, you have to constantly work on your mistakes after every contest, you should work on the questions that you really got wrong and then learn around them. For example, if like you had a question wrong about the kidney, don't just know the answer to that question, but like study more about that area because it's like it's showing you a light of your weakness. Yeah, so when you uh, expose all your weaknesses and you fill them up, you'll be ready for the quiz because um, a quiz boy is not a a damn person or he's not somebody who is not prepared it's just that it's your weakness that will prevent you from winning on the stage so just work on your weaknesses yeah this is very good advice uh, benjamin now let me come to you gakpato apparently you're back on the line now you're telling us how overwhelming it can be sometimes uh, with all the fame that you're getting in your school your community church etc yes please uh so I was saying that um, in spite of all that, it's important to make sure that you are still down to it. Um, just keep being humble. That, that's what I do. Um, and also I have um, my family that helps support me. Sometimes it gets overwhelming, but then um, my parents do talk to me about how to deal with um, some of these things that have come about as a result of participating in the quiz. Benjamin was saying that you, you're supposed to learn from your mistakes. What are some of the mistakes 
that you made in the previous last year's competition that you feel that people should look out for? Well, yes. So um, the one that comes to mind probably would be the, the problem of the day in the final okay. where um, I, we were supposed to give two instances of a, a particular biological um, process and we gave... Okay, I um, answered that particular one and I gave more than two. Um, so there was a mistake because, first of all, it prevented us from answering other questions we could have answered. And unfortunately for us, the quiz mistress deducted a point for our inability to read instructions. So I guess one mistake a contestant should look out for would be paying, um, not paying attention to the full question during contests. All right. I'll, I'll put the same question to you as well, I, Isaac Jamfi. What's that mistake that people should be looking out for? Okay. Um, so mine will also be um, paying attention to details from the question. Sometimes it might, you see, for two or four rounds, it's very um, dicey. If you don't pay attention to a particular detail, you can just go for the wrong answer. So I would advise everyone to pay attention to details from the question and also go prepared for the competition. All right, how about the tension? How do you deal with the tension? Or you, you don't get tense when you get on stage? Before every competition, I get tense, but I don't know. But anytime I get to the stage, it just appears. I don't know how that works out for me, but it just disappears anytime I get on stage. All right. I'm also sure it's just by God's grace. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gakpeto, how about you? So I like to uh, listen to music before contest it helps to calm me down and um, helps me to relax and um, for those last few moments before i get step onto the stage i just block everything and then focus on the music and then the contest ahead of me and i also pray a lot i guess that's what really helps me to deal with tension Benjamin, I, I'm looking at uh, Gakpato speaking and Gakpato telling us that he hardly goes out. And, is that the way he is typically, you know, or it's because he's on TV. He's giving us this cool, calm, you know, posture. <laughs> well, actually, that's how he is. Yeah, he's a bit reserved. <laughs> okay, so of the three of you, who's the, who's the one who loves to have more fun? Isaac. Benjamin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one is saying Isaac and then another is saying Benjamin. So between the two of you. Okay, let me let me put let me put that to Gakpato. So Gakpato between um, Isaac and uh, and Benjamin, who's the one who who loves to have more fun? Most definitely Benjamin. <laughs> yes. Benjamin. <laughs> Okay, so Benjamin, you've been found out. But thank you very much uh, for joining us for this conversation. And we wish you the very best in all your endeavors and the dreams that you're having, the things you want to do uh, in life and to do for this country. We hope and pray that you succeed in all of them. And we wish you all the best in your academic work. Yes, it can be tough, but I'm sure you will make it because you find yourselves in very good institutions. And doors have been open for you. Please make the most of these opportunities. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you so much. Very much. All right. So you're still here on the AM show and we've heard of 5%, 10%, 15%, 20% discount, but never 50%. Sethi Realty is offering 50% discount on their dwelling properties. Prices starting from 210000 Ghana cities. That's like a price of a brand new car. This offer is for a limited time and on selected units only. T's and C's apply. So if you're looking for two bedroom or three bedroom home in a gated community, make sure you call Sethi Realty on 055-143-5555 or 055-143-8888 or visit them online via nyamidiagh.com. You're watching the AM show. We're taking a break. We'll be back with you in a bit. I'm not even going to try, forget it. 
St. Augustine's College. Your problem started early. Pesek Legon, you have the diagram I'm looking for. You are not ready. No, I'm raising my hand. Okay, go ahead. It's an array. No. Yes, Soli. Which yes. is this? Mitengas. Minus five. Yes. Valence electron. Yes. Plasma. You are right. Head degree analysis helps to understand whether the trait in question is dominant or recessive. Isaac? True. Yes. Mbebo? False. Yes. St. Augustine's College is retaining the trophy. Joseph, where are you with our trophy? I am also a purposely designed engineering material. Yes, Isaac? Composite. Composite. At the end of the contest, Opokuari School has 21 points. Adesadel College has 31 points. Presec Legon has 36 points. Opokuari School, congratulations. I'm happy to declare you third place. Adesadel College, congratulations to you also. Thank you for giving us a great contest. Unfortunately, you couldn't take the trophy, but you did well. I'm happy to declare you second place. Preset Legon, I am pleased to congratulate you on your achievement as 2020 National Science and Math Quiz Champions. Hooray!